begin with men and women of character who are trained rigorously, not just in the tools and techniques of law enforcement, but with a reinforced respect for the law and for the citizens they are sworn to serve and protect. And we're committed to ongoing training in all aspects of police work, as well as our Leadership Institute, where rising leaders receive a wide range of management training enabling them to continue to be one of the most skillfully managed police forces in America. To improve the efficiency and effectiveness of our patrol officers, we now have more than 2,700 Sheriff's Advisory Council members in 19 groups, a membership increase of more than 400% over the last eight years. I didn't think anything, but I, we, they took fingerprints and stuff like that, and the number one person that someone told me was her. She's the ringleader, and I told Don about when he said the um, two boys were arrested for beating up that lady in, in the back of me, I said, well, Don, I've been told that she is um, coordinating all this, you know, she's been um, watched for the drugs and um, stealing and stuff, so I've let him know. These SHADCO members advise the Sheriff's Office about neighborhood activity. They partner with community policing officers and serve as extra eyes and ears to help ensure neighborhood safety and security. Through intelligence-led policing, JSO is providing a model for other law enforcement agencies throughout the country. Ongoing crime mapping analysis is conducted, allowing the rapid assignment of resources to areas of greatest need. Working with community stakeholders, schools, churches, nonprofits, and state agencies, trouble spots are eliminated or neutralized. Meanwhile, officers are trained in problem solving intervention. The entire effort is under constant analysis and evaluation by JSO leadership, and the results are impressive. There's still much to do, but on the heels of a record reduction in crime, 10.5% in 2009, once again in 2010, we showed record declines in crime, projected to be 11.7% overall. This is historic our lowest crime number since 1983. 8300. Seven years ago, the Sheriff's Office created the Community Service Officer Program, a cost-effective force multiplier freeing up more police officers by using civilians to respond to non-violent, non-emergency calls and preparing non-criminal incident reports. Over the past eight years, Operation Showdown and then Operation Safe Streets have produced record numbers of crime tips and contributed to the historic decline in crime. And thanks to JSO's partnership with community stakeholders, the NAACP and the Duval County School Board, the prevention and intervention activities of Project Safe Students in Schools has created a significant reduction in both crime and misconduct in our schools. And who can forget Super Bowl 39 in Jacksonville? It was a week of fans, players, and dignitaries from across the country and around the world. Events all over the First Coast and a stadium location with significant vulnerabilities. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office led the safety and security program for the entire event, coordinating the work of 53 local, state, and federal law enforcement and public safety agencies. Recognized in after action evaluations as one of the most successful special event operations ever. In 2007, the mayor, the city council president, 
and the sheriff selected California-based Matrix Consulting Group to provide an expert, independent, operational audit of the full range of JSO activities. In that report, Richard Brady, CEO of Matrix said, this sheriff's office has developed a culture of excellence which can be seen in the quality of its management, its attention to the efficiency and effectiveness of its programs and services, as well as attention to community needs. And in his comments, Mr. Brady noted that the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is one of the best managed among the hundreds of law enforcement agencies nationwide that his company has studied. Perhaps, he added, the number one or number two law enforcement agency in America. It has been my good fortune to assemble and to oversee a new generation of law enforcement officers in Jacksonville. Dedicated men and women, officers of excellent character who demonstrate sound judgment and unsurpassed skill in maintaining law and order in our great city. A core of law enforcement professionals of whom I am justifiably proud.